Bonjour, j'ai dit Benamou for Art Info. Today we are in Miami at, at Basel Miami Art Fair. Uh, yesterday I met a very interesting person, Brett Gorvi, who is the head of Christie's uh, Contemporary Art. He made a, a very successful auction for 72 lots, 682 million dollars. And he said something really interesting, which was there's different layers of art, there's real art, the one we will be in the history of art, and there's other kind like fashionable art. And how to make the difference between fashion and real art. And today, we are in front of this booth, Murzinska Gallery from Zurich, and I think they display the two kind of art. Wilfred Olam is Cuban artist, he was born at the beginning of 20th century. He's really well known for his surrealist period because he stayed a long time in Paris and was very close to all the Picasso and André Breton and many painters of the avant-garde. But before, before going to Paris, he stayed for a while in, in, in Spain and in 37 he painted this painting which is a, a mix of mystique, of influence of Matisse and it's, a, it's an amazing painting, an amazing gouache, in fact, um, which really shows how special he is. If we speak of fashion in art, I think Scott Campbell belonged to this kind of production. Scott Campbell is a New York-based artist. He was born in 77, and he's, he was really first well known for making tattoos, tattoos for famous people. And so Scott Campbell is able to work on uncirculated banknotes. And now he's very successful with people for, from the show business. He's playing with word. And for example, this work has been bought by Puff Daddy. So, but this game is very expensive because the, the price of the work ranged from $40,000 to $70,000. It's a perfect example of fashion in art.